Hello, good afternoon. Oh, I'm so sleepy because it's kind of cloudy outside, I think. So welcome to our last class this, yeah, last class, not this school year because maybe next year I will not be your teacher anymore. Hello, Haruka, good afternoon to you too. Is are they gonna join the class? The class? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Okay, so do you have any plans this summer? Going somewhere? Not scared of COVID? <laughs> okay, so if it is not really important, I think it's better to stay at home, right? It's better to stay home than going somewhere, especially when it is not important. Okay, so uh, today's students, I just prepared an activity for you to do. Actually, this is not really, uh, I will not really teach you how to do it, but I would like you to explore it by yourself. But I think you know this uh, website already or app, it's called Canva. You know Canva? Who knows Canva? You don't know Canva Kun? Okay, so a, a Canva is a website or it can also be an app where you can create different things. Okay, so can you tell me the things that you can create in Canva? By Kao, Grace, and Haruka, I think you know what Canva is. So what are the things that you can make? Can you give examples? Yes. What can you make or what can you create on Canva? Presentation. Yes, presentations. Yes, your PowerPoint presentations, you can create it in Canva. What else? Aside from that, there are many things you can create in Canva. What else? Editing pictures. <clears throat> yes, you can edit pictures in what way? What are the outputs that you can get from that? Oi, students, three of you know Canva, so please uh, enlighten Poon so that uh, she will have an idea what Canva is. Oh, Firm is joining the class. How about you? Siri Kanya, what, can, what else can you make in Canva? Design, like, presentation. Mm -hmm. What else? Can you give me some more? Those that are very common. What kind of designs you can make in Canva? Starts with letter P. There is also something that starts with letter C. What are those? Oh, you've been using Canva for, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you know this letter P and letter C. Anyone from the three of you? Hello, firm. Okay, so in Canva, we can also create cards. You know what are cards? So do you know that we can create that in Canva, yes or no? Card, we can create a card. We can also create a pick, uh, posters. Okay, so th those are some of the things that you can do in Canva. Okay, so I would like you to go to canva.com if you don't have the app on your iPad or device you're using. I would like you to go to canva.com and I would like you to sign in. You can sign in using your Gmail account, but I think for some of you, uh, they have account already because in order to use Canva, you need to have an account first. Okay, so Poon, you can go to canva.com and then sign in via Gmail. Okay, so these are some of the things that we can do in Canva students. Okay, so we can create video presentations 
your PowerPoint presentation, poster, as what I have said earlier. You can also create an Instagram post, Facebook post, an A4 document, book cover, logo. Okay, so if uh, you want to create your own logo, you can also um, create it here. You can also create a card. Okay, birthday card, Valentine's card, Mother's Day card, Father's Day card, Christmas card, uh, New Year card, something like that. And also there are some options here for book covers. What else? Uh, wallpapers, banners, flyers, resume, infographics. So these are the things that uh, we can do or we can create in Canva. Also, we can create uh, Zoom virtual backgrounds if we want to. Okay, there's also an option here. Okay, but for today's students, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Okay, so for today, we will just create a birthday card since it is the most commonly used card. And, um, and I know that, you know, uh, many people, of course, uh, during their birthdays, you post something or you give them cards. Okay, so uh, in order to do that, you can just create a template. Okay, and then after that, do that every time someone, you know, has a birthday. Just change the picture or change the message, something like that. Okay, so we will create a birthday te uh, card template. Okay, Poon, did you sign in already? Okay, so uh, just click on create a design after that and then find the card landscape, this one. Okay, this is just one thing that you can create in Canva. You can explore Canva if you want to create more things. There are a lot of things that you can create. And I think this is the easiest tool that you can use. For me, huh? for me, the easiest, one of the easiest tools that uh, we can use for editing, for creating designs. It is very famous. I know this website for like how many years already? I started using this one, 2000 and. 18, I think, or 2019, but I haven't used this one really much, okay, because uh, I'm not really good at designing, I'm not into designing, okay, but I can design things, but not just really, that, not really beautiful, okay, so card, landscape, and then after that, you will have this one, okay, so for those who use Canva already, you are familiar uh, with the tools here that you have, Okay, so we have here the elements. The elements are basically anything, okay? Anything that you can insert uh, uh, on whatever you are doing here in Canva, okay? Also, we have your uploads. For example, you have photos that you want to be included in what uh, on the thing that you are doing here in Canva. You can just upload it, and then after that, you can just uh, place it anywhere in your document. And also we have here photos. There are a lot of photos in Canva. There are free photos, but there are also um, a pro photos. So if you want to use the pro photos or the pro elements, you need to buy Canva. You need to pay for it. You need to subscribe the plan. Okay. So here, basically, you don't need Google. Okay. Because there are photos here. You can just search for keywords here. Okay, for example, if you want uh, to search about like uh, candies, you can just type candies here, something like that, right? Haruka, Sirikanya, and Grace, you know how to do this already. Okay, and also we have here text. Okay, so there are pre designed texts already that you can use, but some of them are pro versions. But uh, it's okay, students, because you can create your own text, you can type your own text and format it. Okay, and also we have here styles. Uh, we can also insert some audio, audio because uh, we can create videos here and PowerPoint presentations. Okay, we can also insert videos and also background. Okay, something like that. Okay, so those these are basically the elements that you can uh, uh, insert in, or these are the things or tools that you can use to create something in Canva. And, stu and students, when it comes to elements, there are a lot, okay, to the point that you don't know what to use because there are a lot of elements available in Canva, 
okay free and pro okay so let's start creating our um birthday card template okay so for the background you can have anything there okay as long as it is related to birthday but again students you can also create other cards here any type of card will do okay so just uh, type some you can go here to background but i don't really like the backgrounds here i like them but there is no specific for birthday so i will not choose anything here because if i will type birthday nothing will appear okay aside uh, uh unlike photos you can just search about birthday and then after that there will be like uh lots of uh birthday photos or photos related with birthday okay but some of them are pro okay so you can choose one and then if it is too small just stretch it out so that it will be or it will cover the whole document okay what will i use here can't decide actually because there are a lot how about you, Grace by Cow and Sirikanya? When when you are using Canva, do you find do you are you having a hard time also choosing elements? What to use? Something like that? Because there are a lot. That's my problem, actually. No, no, what to use because there are a lot. And all of them are really uh, beautiful. Okay, I think I will just use this one. You can use the pro uh, elements, but it will have watermark, I guess. And also, uh, if you use pro elements, you won't be able to download your file later on. Okay. So that's the disadvantage of having a free account. Okay. Oh, what a miracle, PP and firm are here. Wow, but I hope they are doing the activity too. Okay, have you chosen your background already? Let's see if I can see something else. I don't like the color. Well, maybe. No, don't like it. Okay, done choosing your background. Are you done? You cannot choose anything, right? You don't know what to choose. Take note, this is a birthday card, huh? so please choose a background that uh, is related with birthday. Instead of creating cards every time, every time you know someone uh, has a birthday, you can just create a template and then just change the picture or change the message, something like that. done okay i think i will just proceed okay so after that students you can add text of course happy birthday okay so you can use the pre-designed text here or you can also type your own and then uh just format it okay so to add text in canva you can just uh click and drag one from here to here or you may also press the letter letter t on your keyboard if you want to type your own text okay letter t just the shortcut key for 
uh, inserting text. Okay, so for example, happy birthday. And do you know what, what's good in Canva students? The fonts are really beautiful. There are a lot of fonts available. Okay, so you can just create your own text and then format it. Okay, I think this big is okay. And then just choose a font. I think I'll go with calligraphy. See that there are a lot of fonts and it's also hard to choose. I think it's quite bigger, so. Just explore the tool students. You can also change the color. What goes well with blue? Okay, I think this is too. Hmm. I think pinkish or something would go with blue, right? I think I will just go with this one. I think this one is okay. Okay, and then after that students, you can just add some elements, okay, that is of course related with birthday. You can also have a short message on your card. Okay, for when for the element students, there are variety or there are a lot of elements that you can choose, but some of them are pro. Okay, you can search for keywords here. And also one thing that I would like to teach you is this one, the frames. Okay, so you can use this one. These frames, these are for pictures later. So for example, you want designs for your pictures, for example, like this one, you can just drag it here. And then after that, you can just choose any photo. And then after that, just, just drag to that frame and then uh, the photo will be there, okay? With a, with a design of the frame, okay? So you can do that one. Of course, when uh, it is someone's birthday, there is usually a photo, right? in your post or on your card. So you can uh, include that one. And also you can insert other elements that, such as cakes, balloons, what else, gifts, or whatever uh, birthday related elements you can find there.
You may also use animated elements if you want to. And also students, you can make Instagram stories here. You can. I think uh, some of you are using Canva also to create Instagram stories. Hmm. What should I use? Where was the element I used? The frame I used earlier. I can't find it. Recently used. There's no recently used here. It will be here. I think the color matches the background. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This one. Yes. And also students, you can group elements. For example, this these two, you can group them so that when you move one, the other one will be moved also together with the other one. Okay, so you can group elements. I will add some birthday message. By the way, I will, I will still ask you to submit your work later, huh? I wish you all the happiness in the world. I think I have like this here. It's happening. My gosh, my card is so girly. I just want to stay. My goodness. I chose colors that are girly. Okay, and then you can add elements. Okay, other things that you can see during birthdays, cakes, balloons. Where did I use these colors?
by Kao. Sirikanya, this month is your birthday month, right? March? Am I correct? Because mm. I remember. I'm, I don't, I'm not sure with like, I'm not sure the exact date, but I know that your birthday is in March. By the way, some elements, you can change the colors. Okay, so for example, this one, this element, there are color options here. You can uh, choose the colors if you don't like them. Okay, for some elements. I think this one is okay already. It matches the background. Oh, birthday cake, of course. How could I forget that? Also, when you search for elements, you will see magic recommendations. I would like you to explore that one also because uh, I think uh, there is an algorithm in Canva that uh, it selects uh, or it gives you options based on what you're doing, something like that. So you may want to open that one. Okay, we only have 10 minutes left. Oh, oh, so cute. OK. 
Okay, so for example, it's this baby girl's birthday. Okay, so I think I'm done. I don't like to put really a lot of designs. Okay, students, you can use also animated objects or elements there, okay? And uh, when you're done, students, I would like you to save your work. By the way, in Canva, if you do, if you do something, it will automatically be saved in your account. Okay, so here is what you can see, all changes saved. Okay, so every time you sign into Canva using the same account that you are using right now, whatever device, you will be able to access the things that you have already created. Okay, so I would like you to save your work. Okay, just click the dot, dot, dot here when you're done and then click on download. For those students who did not use uh, any animated elements, you can save it as PNG. And then for those students who used animated elements, you can save it as GIF, G-I-F. Okay, this one. Okay, but uh, GIF has no sound, okay? So you can use this one if you use, uh, if you, you can use this, this, this format if you use animated elements, okay? But for those who, who use static elements only, you can save it as PNG. Okay, so I think it's perfect because your one of your friends is celebrating his her birthday this month. If you want to learn more about Canva, just explore it. There are a lot of things that you can do there. And for sure you will like it. Before I really didn't like Canva. I just appreciated it like uh, last since last year only, but before I haven't, I used it, I, the first time I used it was in 2018 or 17, I think, but I didn't really use it much. I just use it again uh, last year, 2021. Okay, so please uh, send me a sample of your work students in our line group. Okay, when you're done. I just want to see your work, okay? Okay, so that's it. So this is our last class, right? So may I ask everyone to show their whole face, not only their foreheads and their hair, because I would like to take a photo. Is it okay? <laughs> Show your faces, your beautiful faces. Firm, if you want, please open your camera. All right, show your faces, your whole face, not only this one. Faster. Ah. Mm. Faster. Oh, nice. Such a baby face, spoon. <laughs> what is that supposed to <laughs> Johnny Karn, you too, and Devuka, show your face. Pastor. Johnny. Mm, her internet is low again. <laughs> okay, everybody. So ma I show your whole face, please. Haruka. Everybody smile. Kani Khan, your favorite pose. One more, <laughs> one more. Ready, smile. Your favorite pose. <laughs> okay, so students, I will really miss you all. Okay, so thank you for giving me the opportunity to teach you. Okay, so yeah, I'm very happy because I got to teach you. I was given the opportunity to be your teacher for. Punwisa and Grace since grade two, right? For Haruka, I think, uh, Serikani, I think grade five or grade four. I'm not sure. Grade four, right? For Haruka since last year. Okay, so I'm very happy to be your teacher. 
Okay, so we will just communicate in line. Okay, there is still social media. Okay, and uh, hopefully, hopefully next school year will be a face-to-face -face class. It will be face-to-face -face classes already so that we can see each other here around the school. Okay, so that's it. So enjoy your summer holiday and good luck on your examinations tomorrow until Friday. Okay, good luck on your examinations. So please get yourself ready. Okay, so stay safe and have a nice day, everyone. Goodbye. For the last time. Mm -hmm.